and staying with this very important topic of water, because water is the topic of the entire morning, as you've probably noticed. The next speaker is going to talk a little bit about a very important part, perhaps even more important than washing, and that is drinking. Because we don't last very long, right, without drinking water. And it is an area that's becoming uh, more and more problematic in more and more areas around the world. So now I'm going to introduce a man who works for a company that has dedicated their entire existing to fixing that. How can we ensure that there is clean drinking water? How can we make sure it's done in an efficient way? And how can we make sure that it's cheap enough that people can uh, use it? So I'm very proud to introduce Richard Carlson. He's from Water Sprint. If you give him a big applause, I'm sure he has some interesting stuff for us. Good morning. Can everyone hear me? Good. Good. I'm going to talk about water, and uh, from as a, I'm from Water Sprint, uh, and I'm working with uh, sales and marketing. So this presentation will be a little bit more towards that uh, area. We have a vision: clean and safe drinking water, accessible for everyone. You see the man in the picture. He's standing in the pond. He's have, he has the luxury of having water around him, but can he drink it safely without get, being sick? The answer is actually yes, with other products he can. And I will get back to that in the end of my presentation. A little teaser for you, cliffhanger. First, shortly about the company. The company's founders are four interesting persons. Uh, two professors. One of them is Kenneth Person. He's uh, the professor of uh, water resource uh, engineering, and he's also a research director for Sydvatten, which is a company distributing uh, drinking water to seven <coughs> municipalities in the south of Sweden. The other professor is Lars Montelius. He's a professor in nanotechnology, and he's also the CEO of a laboratory run by the EU in Portugal. And we have Ola Hansson, he's an engineer and has, has worked with uh, uh, environment and water uh, issues for over 20 years. And Thor Wingren, I can assure you that you have all used one of his inventions, probably even today. He is one of the inventors of uh, the Bluetooth, which is, for me, very impressive. Uh, as we discussed earlier, with the other speakers, there is a problem with water. I heard that 87% of the population in the world does not have access to clean water in the taps. Uh, more than 5 million, two, sorry, more than 2 million uh, children dies every year under the age of 5 because of lack of clean and safe water. So this is a very big problem, of course, and it's tragic that it is like this. But this is not only a problem with water in the developing countries, it's also in the, the Western countries. And the next slide is, you're not meant to read this, this is just an illustration to show you how often uh, the municipalities in Sweden comes with uh, boiling recommendations for uh, the citizens. In average, it's one uh, municipality per week that gives out uh, boiling uh, recommendations. And this picture, and the next picture, this one, is showing that uh, from the articles in newspapers. But this is just regarding bacteria and also Legionella. But we have also a Legionella problem in the showers. And Legionella is, as previous speakers said, a problem within uh, healthcare, hospitals, etc. And uh, in 2014, 95% of the counties in Sweden reported problems with Legionella. 95%. Only Gotland, it's a small island outside the east coast of Sweden, they did not report Legionella. And it is only when the Legionella sickness is discovered in the, in the hospital environment that it's re it is reported. Uh, and if someone gets sick of Legionella in their home, it's not reported in these uh, statistics. And there is two to three people every uh, month, I think it was, that is, uh, no, every week, every week, that is infected in Legionella. Uh, sorry, too early. 
Ah, that's a mistake. I was going to say, um, Legionella is, uh, co uh, you get infected by Legionella by the aerosols from uh, hot showers. Uh, you inhale the bacteria, and the bacteria goes to your alveoles in the lung systems, and they start to eating of your alveoles, where the oxygen is uh, going into the bloodstream. So it's a nasty sickness. The problem with Legion Legionella and bacteria, we have the solution here. It is a unique, safe and intelligent water cleaning uh, purification item. And it's environment friendly and uh, very low on energy and it contains no chemicals. We have a booth over there next to the exit on the right hand side. We have a demonstration unit. Uh, this is the item is also uh, connected with Wi-Fi. So you can always monitor it over the internet. And it's based on UV LED technique. And we are the first company in the world with developing a product on the UV LED technique. It has been used in UV lamps in many years uh, for purification. And UV lamps contain mercury, and they need to be changed every year. And they also need to be cleaned inside every year, twice a year often. This is maintenance free, contains no mercury and no chemicals. This is a cross-section cross showing, uh, is there a laser pointer in this? No. The water comes in, in the west uh, left corner, <laughs> and then there's a flow sensor. So the flow sensor turns on the power, and it consumes only 7 to 10 watts, depending on the size of the item. So it doesn't consume any energy at all when it's not used. So when the water is not running, it's off. And then the UV LEDs are mounted along the bluish uh, quartz glass, and the photons from the UV light runs and bounces around, and uh, it destroys the structure, the DNA and RNA structure of bacteria and viruses and protozoas. And then you have clean water. And uh, UV lamps, if you compare with the old technique, uh, they uh, have to be on all the time because they have a, a start-up period of five to ten minutes to, to reach the correct wavelength of the UV light. Our product starts in a few thousands of a second and have the correct UV light immediately. And this small unit of tw 25 centimeters, five centimeters in diameter, can purify 4.2 million liters of water. That's impressive, if I say so. And you can find our product in different applications. Of course, in showers for the Legionella problem, you can uh, mount it under the sink uh, to have clean and safe water in your, in your tap. Uh, if you have a, a well to your house, it's uh, over one million households have their own well in Sweden. That's one tenth of the population. Uh, you can put uh, our device after some filters, particle filter and charcoal filter, and then you have clean and safe water. And we have also an application that we call the T4 Rescue. It's for municipalities when they have body recommendations and needs to have clean, safe water in a few minutes. You just connect it to the tap, the power in the, the, power in the wall, uh, and then you have safe water again. It takes only a few minutes to connect it. And it's run by 12 to 24 volt. D4 field, I will come back to that later. It's connected to the, to the second picture with a man in, in the pond. This is a slide for uh, describing a little bit about, about our uh, software system. Uh, we have four software developers in the company and they are continuously developing the monitoring program we call water sprint software system. So, as, you, as I said before, every unit has a Wi-Fi connection and you can monitor it through a web portal. And you can, we can also upgrade it over the internet, uh, over there. Uh, it's very intelligent uh, water purification. And uh, the person who mo might be the service provider could have uh, an email or a text message if something is going not wrong, perhaps, but if some of the LEDs are decreasing in uh, 
intensity, well, that doesn't actually uh, generate a, an alarm because the item is intelligent. So if one jubilant decreases in intensity, the others will recognize that and they will increase. And that will continue to the, until the item has uh, reached the limit where we uh, say that now it's time to change it. And if you, uh, if you can purify 4.2 million liters, and this is connected to a tap or to a shower, the lifetime is about 10 years, approximately. And no maintenance at all. A, a common question is how much does it cost? Well, 0 0.03 euro cent per liter purified water. So this solution would solve the bacteria and various uh, problems. Now and for the future, it reduces anxiety and uh, gives the citizens more um, ease and, uh, well, so, yeah. I didn't find the correct word there, so I skipped it. <laughs> uh, it's easy to install, it's standard connections, and you can use it uh, when renovating, from the beginning if you build up a new facility. And it replaces all other methods like hot washer, hot, hot, hot water flushing and uh, chemical treatments. And we have the alarm, so this is a green product. Uh, maybe some of you recognize uh, the person to the left here. It's Mohamed Jonas. He won the Nobel Prize, the Nobel Prize Prize in 2006. He's the founder of the Grameen Bank. He visited Anders Ruland, our CEO, a few years ago. And that uh, we started a project together in Bangladesh. And uh, you can see the black box. It's in this case called a micro production, production center. It's the, our project called D4 Field. Uh, we are delivering, we delivered uh, some of items of that, and they are used in the same way as the microloan concept. Uh, youngsters, teenagers are renting it, and they are selling clean water. If you look at the greenish area above the head of the girl with the glass, that's water. And then we put uh, a water hose in the surface water and the hand pump to bring the water to the items. Yeah, <laughs> three minutes. Yeah. Uh, and it run, runs through particle filter and charcoal filter and then also through our units. And then you have safe and clean water to drink. And the, the youngsters who rent this sell the water and they have their own company and they bring good water to the citizens. So everyone is happy, even the man in the pond. <laughs> Thank you. Wow, how impressive is that, right? One more problem solved. Yeah, one more. One more problem solved, right? I'm so two days, because with the rate of which we're solving problems right now, there's not going to be that many left when we leave tomorrow afternoon. So isn't that a nice thought? Well, thank you, Richard, for your part in solving this. This is definitely a very important one. Thank you. Yeah.